Hey everybody, it's Friday, May 10th, uh, 2019, and I'm on the boat, of course, and um, what are the next steps? The next steps for this project are going to be to remove the mast, um, have it placed back on the deck so that I can tackle the rigging problems that I have. If you saw my previous um, uh, post, the, uh, the lower shrouds are held to the boat by shackles, which are inappropriate. So I'm going to make the move toward redoing the standing rigging. I'm probably just going to go ahead and re-rig it outright. All new material, including new stays, new wire, 1x19 wire, new compression fittings, new turnbuckles, um, and I will be inspecting the bolts for the tow rail, which the, uh, the shrouds are, are connected to the tow rail in this boat. And then the, uh, inspect the chain plate um, in the rear um, for the, uh, the backstay and um, probably start messing with the, uh, the connection of the, the, uh, the forestay uh, and those bolts and that setup there. But um, in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and start tackling things like taking um, the wiring, uh, disconnecting the wiring and labeling it. I got a mast headlight, I've got a deck light, um, I've got the electrical for the ray dome um, and that uh, data connector. Um, I don't even know if it, the radar works. I will figure that out once I get the mast down and start messing with it. But, um, but that's the focus right now to go ahead and get those things set up. Um, when, um, I don't know if you have I mentioned my kids are going to be here. Um, there are things I can't do on the boat easily like removing the um, the deadlights because we got bolts inside and out and I need two bodies but those are those are leaky so I want to get that taken care of while we have nice weather and um, and I have got a, a, my my kids will be here to help me with that so but that's the idea of the focus really is getting the mass prepared to come down and um, and then once it's down, then complete the re-rig, uh, make sure all the, the lights work. Right now the masthead light doesn't work. Um, the tricolor that is at the masthead doesn't work. And, um, and then we'll get it back up here in a few months uh, after that work is done, so. All right, well anyways, let's get started with the uh, removing the radar. I don't know if I'll keep it. It's so old, it probably drains a ton of power, but anyways, we'll remove it now. Here's the back of that device. Now they've got it freed from its panel. Now uh, the device turned on okay, but it's obviously, it's just been neglected for so long. So, um, and, well, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna have to see what, uh, what to be done with this. It, it may still work. Um, the, the, device, the unit turns on, but it doesn't get a signal from the ray dome. This may have something to do with it, um, but we'll see. You'd think taking these, uh, these um, cable connectors apart back here would be easy. Okay, I found it. So it's just really, these are just so seized I couldn't tell. This is, ex this is the way I expected it to work. Um, so I just gotta, this one's, this one's really well seized too. Gotta use my channel locks. See if I can, can get this here. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands, but I'll go ahead and loosen that up. Uh, this connector is a total beast and I've got the, on the floor with my foot on the device, um, and I can barely move it. It's moving a little bit, but oh, actually, that's really. Let's see, it moves and it quits. 
Oh. Wow, I broke it. Let's see. It was just so seized up. I could have put some penetrating something penetrant in there, I'm sure. Um, but frankly, this is in such rough shape. I'm just gonna just gonna get rid of it. Like, sides. It uh, it's such a gobbler of electrical. Um, you know, I'll, I'll see if I can use the ray dome still. Probably not, but um, I think this um, this display, this radar display, has just got to go. This appears to be the uh, electrical connection uh, for that radar dome, or uh, actually the whole device. Uh, yeah, just the dome, but the uh, uh, but the display, and so it comes into this mess of wires and then it was opened up and we've got a red and a black a white and a black rather so white or here that disconnected and then the black now the box is turned off the I rarely use the battery because I've got shore power um, so I don't really mess with that too much but see this ground So that's what we're looking at there, and it shares a common ground over here. I'll find out where this, this is pretty heavy duty, we'll find out where that goes. Um, probably at the mast as well, but let's go ahead and get that disconnected. This is something else I'm going to do. Um, all this wiring needs to be redone. Um, they didn't use uh, marine grade wiring or connectors, this butt connector is just a household type. It looks like it's done pretty poorly on top of it um, but you can see kind of this this spaghetti so I'm gonna and I'm gonna move this so this is actually on the starboard bulkhead um, and I'm gonna move it aft closer to the batteries which will be somewhere near the engine I suspect probably in there which is right now is a setup for the uh, for a bilge pump alarm I'm probably going to put it back in there somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly or, or how. But but anyways, for right now, let's go ahead and we'll just... I think we'll just clip this and plug this back in. Um, so that the, that the compass still has a power. If I happen to want to take this thing out at night anytime soon. Probably not, but you never know. You have a box that's made out of wood. Someone did a nice job of putting that together, although I would prefer it be in something a little bit more... I don't know. I don't think that wood for electrical box is probably a good idea. I'll look into it, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to redo it no matter what. So, so I've got this wire that runs up the mast, and I didn't know... I don't know... I didn't know what it was. It's coming down here to a junction box. Um, that is a splitter for the VHF and the AM FM stereo. So AM FM antenna connects here. VHF, which is just above here, connects on the other side here. And then you've got the antenna um, that runs up and then runs up uh, out to the mast. So I have a, uh, I have a handheld VHF. So... Um, I'm just going to use that for it for right now. Um, I may continue to use this, although I'd really like to have a um, I'd really like to have a new unit eventually that provides. Uh, oh, that includes a AIS. Um, that's the big thing. Um, GPS and AIS built in. Um, this does not. So, um, yeah. So I'll probably just go ahead and and, uh, and get rid of this. Okay, here's what I've got. I've got these wires coming down from the mast. Um, that they don't need to be a little. Anyways, they're a little messed up here. But anyways, what I found was that see that there's an extra there's an extra green wire, which is your um, your ground. So there's a, a return or neutral power, and then a, and this is your actual ground which grounds the whole system, but you see there are three. There is a, uh, 
there's an additional green wire that's going up by itself to the mast. And I just assumed it was like a mast ground. Uh, I don't know. But what I found was that it was connected to the back of the tricolor. Uh, uh, back of the tricolor light, which never worked. Or at least it hasn't worked since I've got it. They were using a green as, as a power. Um, and apparently no one told the other end of the operation that that's not working. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, just a, just a mess. Uh, I said, here are some of the, uh, the, the, um, uh, spade connectors that they've used. Again, these are just, as far as, um, they're just household type. Looks like they might have done some, um, if you can see that or not, but well, they may have done some soldering there too, but it just isn't, isn't appropriate. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and cut these uh, spade connectors off and pull this through and get this out of here. Um, everything else should be okay. I still have running lights. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a steaming light, um, but I do have, or an anchor light for that matter, but I do have um, running lights at least. So, um, I don't know. I probably won't need them anyway. So it's kind of interesting. This is the, uh, the see where the wires go up through the, uh, through the, through the top of the cabin. Um, and they, looks like they use a brass through hull for it. Um, and I do remember seeing threads on the other side of it. So that's interesting. And then they filled it with some sort of caulking. Okay, here's the base of the mast. And we've got the, looks like probably the power and the, uh, for the ray dome and, uh, and the data connection from the ray dome come out here. And this is probably the, the mast headlights. You can see there's that, uh, additional green wire for ground. Uh, and here's the top. So they did, this is just a, uh, that's just a through hull, uh, that they, they blasted right onto the top of, onto the hull, but you know, I'm gonna cut this back and see if I can work this stuff out. This was leaking anyways. Okay, now I've got these these wires out of the deck completely. I'm just going to loop these up, get them out of the way, and then when the mast comes up, they'll just go with the mast, and uh, and then I can manage. I can figure out what's going on after the mast is down in the, on the deck, rewire it appropriately, etc. This is a nice three three wire uh, boat cable from Anchor. Uh, I may, may use that again. I don't know. We'll think about it. I realized that I also have the power connection for the back of the, uh, for the VHF radio and I almost left it. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that and keep that with the radio and maybe try to sell the radio. We'll see. But unfortunately, they placed this heater, this diesel heater, and it's actually it's backing plate so close that this is just it's very difficult to get through there so I'm gonna to try to bend this in a little bit I'm taking this I think I decided to take this heater out um, it's lovely I would like to make use of it but the fact is that I think I'm going to put a diesel stove oven combo just a small one in here instead which if I need heat could serve um, equally.